Greetings. So why do I feel inferior because I am short and what can I do about it? Okay. Right. Well, get tall in your mind. All right. This is all a mind game. When people feel inferior or less than because they uh, are short or because they, uh, you know, feel they are ugly or feel their nose is big or their breasts aren't big enough or their breasts are too big or right or their penis is too small or whatever whatever it is you got a bit you know you got a cleft lip you got a mole on your nose whatever it is that diminishes you in your mind guess what it's in your mind <laughs> yeah uh, one of my listeners uh, said uh, right, he, he, he feels inferior and, he, and he's read about how short people uh, don't make as much money. They're not as successful. The guy's five feet, six inches tall. So guess what? Uh, Al Pacino is five feet, five inches tall. You think that uh, right here's somebody who wasn't successful because he was short, right? Well, it isn't rich and famous because he's short, right? The guy that's on top of the world has been for decades, made it big time, more than just about everybody else on the planet. Uh, Mel Brooks, a short guy, 5'5", five, five. Uh, right, not particularly good looking, right? Happens to have a great intellect and sense of humor, but point being, uh, his height did not stop him from reaching great heights, okay? Right. Right. This is all in your mind. This is a choice you make to feel inferior and less than. This is society has its rules, has its external validations. Yeah, maybe taller people, uh, you know, and prettier people do get greater perks, do get greater entitlements. Right. Talk about uh, what they call the white entitlement or whatever that is. Uh, yeah, uh, beautiful people. Yeah, people want to do more favors for them. People want to be around them. It's true. Taller people, maybe so. But that doesn't change the fact that you can do whatever you want to do. You can be whatever you want to be. You can be the best at whatever you choose to be. There's a guy on YouTube who's got lo no arms and legs. He's a motivational speaker. It's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's mind boggling. You just Google this guy. It's just incredible. You know, you think you got problems. You think you're not good enough. You think uh, you can't reach incredible heights because of your height or weight or this or that. Right. I think this guy proves the point. A, count your blessings. B, how can you feel bad when you see other people who have it a much worse than you and they are doing better than you? Well, what's the difference? It's his, it's his mind. It's his spirit, right? That's what it all comes down to is who are you going to believe? The external world that you're not good enough for yourself. And that's the problem. You believe yourself isn't good enough. You've, you've bought the con, you know, your, your insecurity, your fear, your self-doubt, right? Your, your, your sense of disapproval from other people. It's all perception. It's all putting your perception about yourself into the perception that you see in others. Guess what? It's all projection. When you see people like thinking less of you, it's you thinking less of yourself being reflected in the projection of around you. It, it, it's you. Everything starts with us in our mind, what we feel about ourselves. So start liking yourself, yourself. start loving yourself, start appreciating and valuing yourself that you, you are good enough. That old joke about Stuart Smiley, uh, I am good enough, I am worthy, I deserve happiness and success. I, it's true. Start talking to yourself. Start re reminding yourself affirmations every day, morning and night. You are good enough. You deserve all of the prosperity and abundance and happiness and success and love that the universe has to offer. We all do. We all do. Right. Once we're born into this world, into this existence, into this body and the material world, guess what? It was a gift from God. Whether you believe in God or not, that's the way it works. We all have God's given powers. And we all can, you know, do what and be a, a God unto ourselves. You know, when Christ said, uh, you know, uh, if you have faith uh, and you want to move this mountain from here to there, it shall be done. Uh, what's the point? Manifestation. You can have everything you want. You know, it's just a matter of willing it and wanting it and having faith in it and then taking action and intention. And, you know, and following through and persistence and determination and discipline. 
Oh, okay, so I digress. I started out with like, what do you do when you feel short and, and unlovable and unsuccessful and you're diminished by others? It's a choice. Let it go. Detach yourself from these absurd inner critic thoughts and feelings. That's all it is. You've got a voice inside your head, inside your head, an inner critic, an ego telling you that you're crap, that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy enough, that you don't deserve happiness and success, you know, and that it's because you're short that you're not getting what you want. No, it's not because you're short. It's not because you're ugly. It's not because you're this or that. Yeah, it's because deep down you choose to believe you are inadequate. Deep down, you choose to believe in limitation. Deep down, you choose to believe that you can't have everything on the planet that you want because of this. It's an excuse. Ultimately, it's an excuse. You can blame your your shortness because uh, that, that, that's why I'm not successful. That's why I don't have the love in, I want. That's why I haven't attracted like wealth and a, a beautiful person or this or that. It's because I'm short or it's because I'm this or that or whatever. No, that's an excuse. That's an excuse that you are using, okay? When you let go of excuses, when you let go of finding someone to blame, particularly you, for why you don't have what you want, then you will get what you want. Everything, the abundance of the universe is ours to receive. Ask and you shall receive. Have faith and you shall receive. Give no power to negative thinking. Give no power to your insecurity and your self-doubt. Easier said than done, you say. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, it, of course it is. But you got you got to do it. If you do it, if you you know, as soon as those thoughts pop into your head, I you know, I'm weak. I'm uh, I'm short. I'm ugly. I'm this. I'm that. D tell yourself to shut up. Stuff those thoughts someplace else. Tell that voice to go haunt somebody else. Give it no power neutralize that negative thought with a positive thought. That's a bunch of crap. It doesn't matter how short or tall I am. I'm going to go for it and I'm going to get it. And by the way, that's an important part of all this is acceptance. You know, accept your limit, what you perceive as limitations. If you perceive height as a limitation, accept it and, you know, and, and go forth anyway, right? This is all about acceptance of what is, but it doesn't mean you, you can't change it. It doesn't mean you can't um, change the outcome. You may not be able to change your height, but you can change, uh, you know, what you think is the result of your shortness or your ugliness or your thisness or this or your thatness. And it's not about plastic surgery and wearing elevator shoes. You know, it's about believing in yourself, right? Believing that anything is possible and believing that you are worthy and good enough and deserving of success on the planet as much as anybody else. Then go for it. You know, manifest, make it happen. Visualize it, affirm it, make it happen. It shall be done. All right. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time. I'm adding a few uh, thoughts that came to me after I completed the video you just saw. And here they are. First of all, what this is all about when you uh, perceive yourself as less than because of a physical a characteristic is you are playing the victim role. You are making uh, yourself a victim of the world. You are saying that I, I can't have what I want because I'm I have been victimized by my genetics or something else. Okay, so we're talking about victimhood versus personal empowerment. Which do you want to embrace? Okay, this whole idea of victimhood also ties into the idea of external versus internal validation. Okay, we must validate ourselves from within, not base our sense of self, our sense of our self-esteem uh, based upon what other people think, how, wh whether people approve of us or disapprove of us, whether people ridicule us or admire us, whether people laugh and applaud or frown and curse us. We must know who we are, have faith in who we are, and be free of the slings and arrows, attitudes and judgments of other people. Uh, you know, identify uh, identifying ourselves with our body is a big mistake. We are not bodies. We are spirit. We are loving beings, again, deserving of all of the abundance and love in the universe. Give other people no power over you. Stop caring what other people think of you. Care about what you think of you. And reinforce your goodness, your greatness, your capacities, 
And if you feel you don't have uh, the capacity, then create it. Okay, remember the guy with no arms and legs. He, he didn't like roll around in the bed thinking, oh, woe is me. He decided, you know, I'm going to make this world something great despite the limitations I've, I've been given. Okay, you can do this too.